Minnesota is now offering drone repair classes. Drone repair classes. Okay. Welcome to Staples. Staples guy, I need some things for the office, but I need a study. Well, now at Staples, we're celebrating HP Savings Month. You'll find big savings on great HP products all month long. See? Big I got a list in a minute. Right now, get up to $180 off select HP laser jet printers. Whoa. Mind blown. You're the third one this week. Now, during HP Dude. Savings Month at Staples, get up to $180 off select HP laser jet printers and get legendary HP quality. It's your easiest business decision. Hence for 1517 C-Store, staples.com slash HP month for details. Restrictions may apply. HelloFresh delivers recipes and ingredients for a home-cooked meal in around 30 minutes. Like this recipe. Start with a working couple. Add two demanding jobs. Mix all too well. Receive HelloFresh delivery. Trim <laughs> off temptation to order pizza. Follow step-by-step -step recipe until holy ravioli. You can add mushroom ravioli gratin to your resume. Fist bump and enjoy. Delicious ingredients you'll love to eat. Simple recipes you'll live to cook. HelloFresh. Get cooking. Get $20 off your first delivery plus free shipping at HelloFresh. All right. Mm -hmm. The following Hello. is a paid presentation. The views and or opinions expressed do not necessarily reflect those of the management of KWAM. Who blasts Who blasts it? What's the deal? Keep it real. We unleash y'all know what it is. I just like uh civil rights movement. We unleash we gonna show off the skills for real. So tune in for advice. He's been so dirty. I don't know who's saying that right here. Stand up for your fight. You're ring. These Earl for real glasses. Earl for real. Keep it equal, get it deep, you can keep it simple, but keep it, make it love, what's 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 Sure, there are a lot of crying cats. Okay. My neck, my back, lick my ow! This is the S to the K to the double E to the T to the E to the R. I'm sitting with the G to the Q. I'm sitting here with the E to the double D to the I to the E. I'm sitting with the Kita. I'm talking real proper today, and we in the house today, and we are fired up. Right. <laughs> I feel like a civil rights fighter. He is a cat lady. <laughs> I feel like I'm on the bus of the civil rights movement. Don't cry for me, Argentina. He is a cat lady, so. <laughs> What's going on, Mr. Graham? I gotta give me some Mac. I'm, I'm shining. I got some Mac makeup. Anybody sell Mac out there? You look drunk. Oh. <laughs> Ain't nothing in my coffee. <laughs> What's up, my speaker? What is this? This is. My Instagram fan, they just joined in with oh. So if you want to uh, watch this radio show, you can switch over to the Unleashed Voice TUV magazine and uh, watch us on Instagram. We are live on Instagram on And Facebook Live. And Facebook Live. Right? Under my Davian name, Clemens. Davin. Go to Davian Clemens. Davin. You're going to find Davian. Davian Clemens. You're going to find that. you find He's Davin. On, He's on Facebook. D -A -V -I -N. You can watch us live stream with us. And what's up, Radio Lane? It's a beautiful day in Memphis, Tennessee. Ooh, I can't see any. I, <laughs> I don't know what the... What's the temperature? Anybody know? It's hot in here. George, we need some air. Oh, what's the temperature? A hundred. Hot. Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a swag. Oh, you're asking for real. So the temperature is about 80 degrees. In the studio or outside? Outside. 83. Um, 83. 83 degrees in the south. We're in Memphis, Tennessee, mm -hmm. and it is beautiful here. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. I get cooped up at work, and I'm finally free. I'm out. Let me out. So this is the Unleashed Voice radio show. <laughs> <laughs> For the LGBTQ community on KWM 990, Talk Radio Baby. And the mission of our radio show is that we are the premier soundboard for the LGBTQ community throughout the United States. But we employ three E Corp principles education, empowerment, and enrichment. Y'all didn't catch that. She said throughout the United States. She didn't yes. say the tri state area. She's no. the United States of Absolutely. America. Absolutely. Absolutely. Talking proper today. Talking proper. Yes, I am. So, I'm so glad y'all joining in with us on, on Instagram because we are more than a magazine, baby. We are a radio show. We got Eddie over there. We got a, he hang with NeNe Leaks. We got it going on. <laughs> we so, turned back. They kind of looked like. They did. But I got a new nose. <laughs> That's where I was going, listeners. <laughs> Get a new nose. <laughs> we got 
Eddie Wiley's back in the studio. He's talking in front of his nose. The shrink. <laughs> the shrink. We got a great show. I am so excited. So if you Girl. haven't had an opportunity to tell your friends, we're live on the air, baby. We live. Come on in with us. So I'm sure Damien has a rant, so we finna dive into this thing. What's going on with you, son? Let's talk about Lauren Loeb. <laughs> Is it Loeb? <laughs> or Loeb? Oh, God. Loeb. The granddaughter of Memphis, uh, former Memphis Mayor Henry Loeb, and the other Loeb families who run the Loeb properties throughout mm -hmm. the city of Memphis. Mm -hmm. This is a disclaimer. These opinions are not of the Unleashed Voice radio show. They mind. <laughs> uh, <laughs> she ain't saying the radio yes, show. You know. <laughs> KWM already did their disclaimer. They did. This is the disclaimer. This is not the opinion of the Unleashed Voice radio protection. show. Extra protection. This is my <laughs> opinion. This is, this is Damien Clemens acting in his own capacity. We're okay. going to we're gonna talk about Lauren Loeb and her husband and their potty mouth over in uh, <laughs> on vacation. And they called somebody... Uh, N to the I to the double G to the A. Now she said nigga, 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 nigga. Okay, nigga. so we well, just want to talk about how this transcript uh, uh, apparently is fake news and they did not do this. And talk about the history. No, it's of, alternative facts. Oh, alternative facts. Okay. <laughs> okay. You're fake news. <laughs> and so let's talk about the history and the discrimination business and political practices of her family, the Lowe family. So let's talk about how her, uh, uh, her grandfather, the great uh, Henry Lowe, helped killed Dr. King and, oh, this is the disclaimer. and how uh, their properties discriminated, discriminated against black people back in the day and all those things. So um, I just want to um, give kudos to the uh, Memphis Chamber of Commerce for distancing themselves, themselves from her. And um, she's just telling you how she really feels from a locker room talk. So uh, Lauren, uh, best of luck to you. Um, um, apologize. We need some money back. Um, and what else? Well, what I like, um, our good friend, Time of Time Sawyer. Oh, she wrote a great offer. Yeah, she put a comment on her page and it just kind of took off and I think it should be a hashtag. She said, she didn't learn that kind of talk. <laughs> no, she did not. Uh, over there, what, she, there where, where are they vacationing? In, in, the in the Turks. In the Turks. Turks and Caicos. Turks and Caicos, mm -hmm. yes. So she didn't just learn that type of, of talk and that conversation. That's, that's locker room talk. It it's is. probably common. Uh, conversations that they have all the time. On Easter Sunday, like tomorrow they're gonna do it at the dinner table. But one, yeah, absolutely. So one, one of the, um, one of the sad things about it was that they were un intoxicated, and it was somebody in the restaurant also. They were sitting at a table next to them that supposedly wrote, um, came in and chimed in and gave their two cents about how. Um, unruly they were as customers and how they treated the servers, you know, mm -hmm. who were people of color uh, in that area. And even when they turn, returned the telephone, they wouldn't come down and get it. They just had to leave it at the restaurant. It was, it was quite disturbing. I listened, I listened, listened to the tape, and so. Well, but sad, I wasn't surprised. Well, the sad thing about it, once again, her family has a history of capitalism. Uh, that has been built on the exploitation of black people in this city and abroad. And so, uh, like you said, I'm not surprised of this conversation and this locker room talk and all the above and this dinner table talk. So you just reap what you sow, and that is what it is. And um, they need to retract that statement and apologize and stop lying like somebody got their phone and recorded some stuff on their phone and just, you know, let's deal with it. So the, the, the number one question is, because there was a lot of feed going in on the post time and saw you made, about this incident and people were talking about what we need to do as a community and how you need to um uh you know patronize black businesses and you know where do we go from here so where do we go from here you know it it, it keep repeating itself with people in prominent positions that get caught slipping somehow some form some fashion and then we have this these marches and you have this protest then it all dies down and it goes away so what do we do who you want you want you want the truth yeah oh okay i tell you until black people and black businesses mm -hmm. stop discriminating against other black people who don't look like them, the cycle will continue. Don't come over here crying to me once she called you nigga, 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 but then you call me faggot, faggot, faggot. <laughs> so don't come over here now crying because she called you that. Until you stand up for me and stand up for all the black people who are black and work together and don't discriminate, I'm not finna do, I'm not marching with now one of y'all until you stand up for me. 
So it is what it is. That's how I feel about it. So those who stand up for me, I march with you. If you don't stand up with me, I'm not marching with you. And that's how I feel about it. What you say, Eddie? The Empowerment Workshop is coming up on the 24th. Mm. I, I really, I was working on a commercial. Okay, you were working on a commercial. Girl, honey. So you ain't heard none of this back. You haven't heard anything. I was working hard. She heard it. She I, was, I promised to God I was working hard. Okay, you so I'll repeat the question. The, the question that I posed, and this is the poll for today, for anybody listening to the radio show that want to chime in on this topic before we take our first break and then come back with the rest of the show. What do we go from here? Usually when we have a, a, a someone that's prominent make a racial comment or racial remark and it's brought to light in the public and people are in shock and offended and they say they're gonna stop patronizing the business like the grocery store over there in North Memphis. What was the grocery store? Um, Where they sell oh, the soul oh, food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you have a march, then you have a protest, and then everybody go crazy on Facebook like we did with Bill O'Reilly. Then it dies down and it goes away. Where do we go from here, and how do we keep? What, how do we be effective as a community to make a position and put an impact so that this will stop? Where do we go? I'm not surprised at her remarks by any any means. Okay. The unfortunate part is if we try to boycott stuff that goes on there, probably we have to move out of Memphis, Lord. Like how they own everything. Because they own so much. Well, what I am surprised by is that there's not more, like separation from people like other politicians and other businesses in Memphis to they hear this talk and maybe they own a property from them or maybe they can say like hey look you know we don't appreciate this we're going to stop working with you guys and we'll move our money somewhere else because that's not the mentality that we need in Memphis when we have a huge population of African Americans who she just offended like I was offended of course but I wasn't surprised but it it, it hurt more because this is this is a whole other country that they're in, representing the United States more so representing Memphis. But I have, I have, I just had an epiphany. You got to call it to. Okay, so one thing that you can think about, Eddie, imagine this: it's in Memphis, right? Uh huh. For instance, the backlash from Pepsi doing a commercial, oh, uh, kind of undermining or you know want, want to be symbolic with a white woman in the Black Lives Matter movement walking up to the cop and giving him a mm-hmm. coat, and they had the backlash and Pepsi took the commercial down and apologized, or United Airways dragging the man off the plane. Now that and was then, sick. Right, but by being local mm-hmm. and the loads on Memphis, they don't have to worry about the other 40, 50 states. They don't have to worry about it. Well, you see what I mean? So they really does. They really don't because they kind of own this niche. That would be different if, if they had big property all over the United States, which they may have, yeah. but that we know of is here. Mm-hmm. Maybe some outside here, maybe Mississippi, you know. Oh yeah, they do but have a lot of time. We have a caller. We're gonna take this call real quick. I know David got something good to say. Come on in, caller. This is KWM nine ninety Talk Radio. This is the Unleashed Voice. Who are you? Hey. Uh, first of all. When y'all take off, let the listeners know so they don't call them to wait to get in. How about that? Oh, okay. Oh, my bad. Because, you know, I ain't supposed to most of y'all. I didn't get, don't that sound for me like that was on another show? Oh, we're trying to get in and talk about, uh, turn. <laughs>
really about the liberation of, 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 of African-American people, 